Next, we'll take a look at the use of our bays and estuaries by migratory wildlife. Coastal barrier islands and wetlands provide habitat and protection from storms for millions of migrating waterfowl, shorebirds, and neotropical migratory birds from throughout the Western Hemisphere. Birds migrating in the spring often travel thousands of miles, some even fly all the way across the Gulf of Mexico before landing on Texas shores. The lives of these winged visitors are just as linked to the health of our bays and estuaries as are the lives of the fish and invertebrates that can't, as can a bird, just fly away. Over 75% of the world's population of redhead duck winters in the Laguna Madre. This includes the portion that's in Mexico. And they feed on the shoalgrass beds, seagrass, and the coastal ponds. The winter home of the endangered whooping crane, one of the rarest birds in the entire world, is located in San Antonio Bay. They feed almost exclusively on blue crab. The crabs in the bay are dependent on the amount of freshwater inflow from the Guadalupe and San Antonio rivers. Low inflows already have resulted in loss of cranes. Texas also has the largest colonies of grossy egg spoonbills and reddish egrets in the world. And our barrier islands are nesting areas for the critically endangered Kemp's Ridley sea turtle. 